red, white, and blue, of course. We're going to accent with some leather leaf fern, which is great for cemetery work, and we're also going to accent with a little bit of this fern bush. <clears throat> Today's design is super simple and easy, but you get a really pretty presentation once you're done. It'll be perfect for your loved one's grave. So as always, as you guys come into the video, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, and any questions or comments that you guys have throughout this video, make sure you drop those down below as well. Hope you all had a fabulous weekend, honey. I know I did. Uh, it was pretty low key, which is good. Saturday we got to go have our first pool day of the year, which is insane. But we finally made it to the pool. We had a great day. I don't know about where you guys live, what your weather is like, honey. I think it's hotter than ever here in Texas. I mean, I say that every year, but I think I just am not used to it because here in Longview for a while, and Dina can say it was like it was warm during the day, but at night it would still get down to like 59, 58, and so we were kind of used to that. And then all of a sudden, it just took a Took a hit, girl, and it is hotter than ever outside. But I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I got to go on the boat for the first time. I'm going to tell you guys about that experience and more as we do our video today. Um, but let's get started, honey. Okay, so when you do cemetery work, guys, you're going to put it in this type of cone. If you're going to do a cone for your cemetery. So I have this. And this right here is just a cement vase. It doesn't, we don't sell these. Uh, Ellis has had these forever. But if you are working on a cemetery piece at home, especially a cone, you want to make sure you have it in something that's going to anchor it so it doesn't fall over when you work on it. At home, I don't have one of these. I just use a coffee cup, a heavy coffee cup that, excuse me, that you can wedge this down into and you'll be good to go. So we have our foam there. Here's the three flowers we're going to use. We've got navy blue roses, we've got white roses, and we've got red roses. The great thing about these particular bushes is that they, are that they have... Uh, uh, what is this baby's breath kind of built in with it which is it acts as a great filler and it's all built in the bush honey so these are on sale 50 percent off at ellishomeandgarden.com along with everything you see you can always find the styrofoam on there the bushes and so much more okay so we're going to start out by just going ahead and cutting my roses apart i've got one two three four bushes i've got two red one white and one blue so we'll start with that what has everybody been up to y'all leave a comment let us know what you've been doing uh, we've been taking it easy here in town. Hope everyone out there, depending on where you live, is staying safe. Um, there's so much craziness going on in the world right now. We're, gonna, we're not going to talk about it. I'm here to take your mind off of it. But if you are in those areas, guys, I hope you stay safe and uh, stay inside because I think this crazy girl. How's things at Walmart, Dana? They got toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> they got toilet paper at Walmart. That's a good thing, guys. Okay, one, two, three. So here at Ellis, who's got all of their, their plants done for their flower beds and stuff? Y'all leave a comment. Uh, did I tell y'all I had a casualty last week? Oh, yes. I haven't replaced it yet, but I think I'm going to go out there today before I leave and grab another plant. But if y'all missed last week, I've been planting at my house during the quarantine over the past three months or so. Just thought I had something to do, water my plants, and they all look so good. I'm so proud of myself. But I had a casualty last week, rest in peace. Uh, it was a hanging basket that I had, but I think it just dries out too quick and it needed a little bit more sun than usual. Honey, y'all hear them kids? I feel like a Toys R Us in here. It's funny to get them kids on all three. Mm. So I've been doing that. Um, my birthday is coming up, guys. It's this Saturday, June 13th. We're having a little party at my house with some friends. We're just going to have lunch. We're going to have tacos, actually. And uh, just chill. I don't, I'm not really a big birthday person. Or y'all, leave a comment. When it's your birthday, y'all like a big celebration? I hate it. Listen. I don't want any reminders. I'm getting older. Okay, y'all going to be like, Dylan, shut up. But I don't like the attention on me. Okay, like, I like to have fun and everything. But I don't like, what if somebody gives you a gift and you hate it? You know, it's not kind of like Christmas. You're like, oh, it's just what I wanted. Like, I have no poker face, so... I just think it's best that we don't do gifts or anything like that, but um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Josh is putting it together for me. We get to see some of our friends, so I think it'll be fun. Okay, y'all. So I've got my roses split up. We're going to go ahead and get started on this, and uh, I've got three colors, red, white, and blue. So it's up to you which one you want to start with, but I just kind of alternate these, you know, in, where none of the colors are super close together. It keeps sliding forward, and it keeps cutting your head off. Uh-oh. Hopefully, y'all, she can fix it. That crazy tripod. I need to buy a new one. I thought they worked well for a while, and then they just stopped working. I don't know. Because it keeps sliding forward. Yeah. Okay, so we've got red, white, and blue. Let's see. We're going to put the white one up. Are you guys ready for fall stuff? We've been working on a lot of fall in my monthly design group, but I, I've noticed the stores are starting to get it in. Ellis is starting to get it in. I'm excited. 
Uh, they got some Christmas ribbon I saw a minute ago, and they're about to have a huge tent sale. So for those of you who have never seen that before at Ellis, um, every summer they have a tent sale. So they mark things down, give you great pricing, and you can find girl, um, t anything and everything. There's probably kittens out there. Anything and everything in that tent. And uh, I don't know, I think they're doing it at the Longview location right now, but you guys should definitely check it out for sure. Oh my god, look how cute that's looking. Okay, this is going to be perfect for the cemetery. So we're going to go next with white. Hoppy right Lobby has fallout. I noticed that the other day. I haven't had a chance to look, but I did see that they were putting it out the other day. Okay, so y'all, I told y'all my mom, you know, Laura Ingalls, she lived out to the woods honey, with her man, Keith, and I told y'all that she got a really nice boat, him and her. And so yesterday, um, on Monday nights, Josh has his Mary Kay meeting. So he doesn't get home until about 10 o'clock. So usually me and Morgan watch our shows on Monday. We watch The Bachelor, we watch The Boys, The American Idol, whatever's on. But right now, nothing's on. So we decided we were gonna go to the lake with my mom yesterday. And I don't wanna fish, it's boring. I was like, just take us out there, just ride us around, you know, gas the boat, honey, I want to see how fast she goes, blow my hair back, and we actually had a wonderful time. We got there about 5.30, so it was still warm, but it, it wasn't super hot, and um, we drove around for about two and a half hours, had a great conversation, let me tell you what happened. So, before I got on the boat, I was wearing wind shorts, can y'all just picture it, okay? I was wearing wind shorts, and I got out of my car, and when I wear wind shorts, you know they're thin, so I had my wallet, my keys, and I always carry chapstick. And it's all in my left pocket, so I had like a big bulge over here. And so I grabbed a hold of it, and I was like, okay, Morgan, maybe I should leave my wallet in the car before we get on the boat. She's like, no, I wouldn't do that because, you know, somebody could break in your car, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. So I got in the boat. We had a wonderful time, two and a half hours. And um, then we got we got ready to leave. It was like 7.30. Mom and them were going to go out and continue to fish. So they dropped us off at the pier or the bank, whatever you call it. We get in the car and we get down the road about three miles and Morgan was like, um, let's stop and eat at Telly's, which is a Mexican food restaurant. She said, you'll just have to pay for mine because I didn't bring a purse with me. And I said, okay. And when she said that, I reached and grabbed my wallet and it wasn't there. Oh my God. I don't know about you guys and your purses, but if you ever misplaced purse, it's like you just forget about everything else. And so I was like, oh my God. So then I started second guessing myself thinking, you know, when I get home every day, I take all the stuff out of my pockets and I lay it on the counter. Maybe I grabbed my keys and my chapstick and I just didn't grab my wallet. Maybe I never had it. And so I called Keith and I was like, Keith, will you look in the boat seat to see if my wallet's in there? And he said, yeah, I've looked. There's nothing there. I said, okay, it's got to be at home. I was still paranoid because I had a 30-minute drive before I got home. I was really wanting tellies, but I had no money because my wallet was in somewhere. So we got about 15 minutes down the road and Keith called thankfully and said my wallet had fell out in a wedge between the boat seat. But I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather my wallet fly out and get lost in the lake and somebody steal it, because then you gotta cancel all your car, it's just a nightmare. So, thank God we found it, we got, and my mom and them were actually gonna leave, so we all met at Telly's for dinner, we had a great little dinner, got home last night, and everything's been great, so. Thank you Jesus, my wallet didn't get lost, because I'd have had to, I have all my receipts in there, I keep everything in my wallet, it's crazy. Kinda like y'all do with your purse. Lynn, he would glue it, but for demo and time purposes, he doesn't. Yep, today guys, I am just, Popping it in here. I need to get me a glue skillet because then it's really easy to glue things in. What do y'all think about those colors? I think it's so pretty. These roses are great quality, so they look real and uh, almost like a fresh arrangement. Okay, we got to talk real quick about a show. Listen, I told y'all I've been watching the vampires. I know not, not all y'all like vampires, but I have found a show that will everybody will love. Okay, you ready? Let's move that out of the way. Okay. It's on Netflix, and it's called Sweet Magnolias. Not Steel Magnolias, okay. Sweet Magnolias. My friend Katie watched it, and she said, I watched the whole thing in one day. It's kind of lifetime-ish, kind of corny, but it's like you can't stop watching. So, I was like, okay, because y'all know I love a good Hallmark movie and Lifetime movie. So, I started watching it. It's got the girl that plays Cheyenne in Reba. She's one of the main characters. And it's about a group of friends, three friends. One's a chef, one's a lawyer, and one is a... Um, like a general manager kind of and they open up a spa together and it's so good it's so clean your whole family can watch it I mean there's no bumping and grinding girl it's good and so I think y'all should definitely check it out and it's got that that little bit of like corniness but you can't stop watching and it was like number one on Netflix so I definitely think that you guys should check it out if you've seen it leave a comment don't tell me any spoilers because 
four have said their favorite movie. They oh, love it. It's a show, yeah. I have, um, I'm only on episode five because I kind of like it so much to wind down at night that I'm saving it. I'll usually watch one a night. Um, but it's really good. Anybody can watch it. So how's things in y'all's town? Are y'all still on lockdown? I noticed yesterday in New York, it was their first day to start opening things back up. And we were talking about kind of going on vacation to New York again because I want Morgan to go with us. But I think it's going to take a bit for everything to be back to normal where you can enjoy it. So I think we should wait a year or so. Maybe next, next fall or something we can do that. But I'm gearing up for our vacation. We are going to Mexico July 8th. And I uh, ordered me this new swimsuit. It's probably going to turn my legs green. But anyway, I, uh, it's supposed to change colors. Have you seen those, Dan? It's like a lime green swimsuit trunks. And then when you get in the water, they're supposed to turn yellow. I don't know. It could be good. It could be false advertising. You never know. So I'm hoping that it will be good. Okay, so look how pretty this is. We've just got one little section done. I'm just going around. I'm, I'm evenly distributing all of my colors so that everything is kind of evenly uh, dispersed throughout the arrangement with all of the color that we're using here. Because Walmart started getting back to the closet. Oh my god. I hate those y'all. When I was a kid, you know I hated school. Uh, when they called my name to graduate, I always say, I ran across before they could change their mind. When I would walk in the summer into a store that had school supplies, the smell would make me just nauseous. Okay, I freaking hate school and I hated school supplies, and so even now, I'm not in school, I'm never going back, but uh, even now when I walk in there and they have all those out, I'm like, God, I, I don't miss those days. Did you guys like school? I can't. Okay. So I'm working on the back side now, the front done. Notice how uh, full it looks already, just with the foliage and stuff that's, that's built in here, but I've also got these other two things here I'm gonna put together to help give us a little bit more fullness that we can use in this as well. Could you do me a favor, please? Could you get me one bush of white, one bush of blue? They're right there on the aisle by the thing. Debbie says, do wait till next year because everything's still boarded up. Oh, Debbie, you live there? Yeah. Next time I go to New York, guys, I want it to be as good of an experience as it was last time I went. And especially because I want to take Morgan and she's never been before, so I want her to have the best time, too. Okay, I'm gonna kind of turn this so y'all can see from the side. I usually get one whole side done and split it down the center, which is what I did here. And then I'm gonna go on this side and kind of do the same thing and replicate it the best that I can. But I love this. This would be perfect. And guys, I'm not going to today, but you could take a simple ribbon like this beautiful red. It's like a one and a half inch. Make yourself a small bow. You can put it on one of those, those wooden tips with a piece of wire. And that'll just give you a great little accent piece on here also. I love it. Okay, so Dina's bringing me a little bit more. This is going to be super full. I only spaced these about half an inch or so apart, so I'm going to end up using two bushes of every color, I believe. So two red, two white, two blue. Don't forget, this particular bush is the item of the week, so all of this stuff is 50% off, along with so much more at ellisonlandgarden.com. Thank you so much. Uh oh, I thought I was going to have enough, but I didn't. And she says there's no Broadway plays till next year. Oh, yeah. So, speaking of Broadway plays, I've never seen Wicked. Have you seen that in Dallas? Well, they're coming to Dallas next year. It's Josh's favorite. And so, we're going to go see it. 2021. Hope to God everything is back to normal by then. I'm sorry, I'm cutting your head off. Oh, you're fine. Like what, here? Up a little more, but it's... Okay. Well, good. Y'all can see my scalp. Okay. <laughs> my hair is falling out anyway. Okay. Let's talk about Halloween. Who loves Halloween? I know Dina does. She's obsessed. So, I have found Dina that I want to go to Salem, Massachusetts, because I want to see all... Have you been there? I want to see all... It's on my bucket list. Pocus Pocus stuff and everything like that. I didn't even know they had that until somebody told me the other day. But have you guys been there to Salem, Massachusetts, as I say it? And uh, you guys seen all of that stuff with the Salem Witch Trials and all that? That seems like it'd be super fun. Kind of dark, but fun. Um, but if you guys like Halloween, when do y'all start putting out your Halloween? I want to see if I can beat y'all. 
I'm going to put out Halloween this year because I'm going to do it for YouTube. So I'm going to have to start putting it up at the end of July because in mid-September is when I put up Christmas. And so, because my installs start October 1st. So, when do y'all start putting up Halloween? Please somebody tell me early, like August 1st, okay? Because I don't feel bad. And I don't ever tell Josh. Y'all should see his face when he comes to But, you know, like when people say bad words and they don't have to say them, you see it coming out of their face. That's kind of how he looks. I live to, to shock somebody, you know. Misty said she went to Salem a week after Halloween, and it was creepy. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, my God. October 1st. Do what? Melissa says October 1st. <laughs> okay, we can do better than that, Melissa. I know some of y'all put it out before then. I kind of run them all together. Fall and Halloween, I like them together. Okay, so we're just continuing with our flowers. You guys just popped on welcome. My name is Dylan with Design by Dylan. So glad that you're here today. Ellis, we're having a good time. It's always talking about God knows what, okay, Halloween, and it's 4th of July. But uh, if you have any questions, leave those down below. We haven't done one of those in a while, too. So let's just take this time as like a Q&A. So y'all leave your questions down below. If you're new to the page, do you have any questions about me personally, about Dina, uh, about what we do here, uh, about TV shows, whatever, leave those down below. I'd love to interact and get to, to uh, know you guys even more. It's a lot of Octobers. Okay, y'all are disappointing me now. Don't really move. But um, it's okay. I can, I can, I can do by myself. I'd leave Halloween up all year long if I could. <laughs> I would Christmas, but I don't know. When I take my Christmas down, y'all, it's been up for like three months. It's kind of dusty by then, so I like to have like a three or four month break. But then by the summertime, I'm always ready to put it back up. Sandy says Halloween inside August 1st. There you go. Yeah, I don't put it in <clears throat> Halloween outside until September 1st. But I do inside because nobody sees. And I bought a bunch of village. I don't know what this. I bought a bunch of village pieces last year. And I've kind of got my collection up. And it's the first year I'll be able to display them where I put the Christmas ones. So that's why I'm going to start early. Because I'm going to film everything for YouTube so you guys can see it all. Marty says, <clears throat> where'd it go? Start at the end of August, but only decorate for fall since we never have trick-or-treaters. Yeah, I wouldn't know because Josh never lets me stay home for Halloween. We always have a party or something to go to, but I would love to stay home one year. Back when I was a kid, I used to go all out for Halloween. I would have the whole house decorated. <clears throat> you know what icicle lights are, guys, the ones that hang on the roof? I had orange ones, and they would go with the whole roof, and I had fog machines, and we had lots of trick-or-treaters. But I don't think we do anymore in our neighborhood, but... Uh, that was the best part about having a living in a neighborhood for a long time. Does your mom live in the same place forever? Mm-hmm. Well, she lived in a neighborhood, does she? My brother has the house now. Oh, okay. So, see, like, we were there for 15 years, and uh, you knew, I knew every single person on the street. And anyone, when my dad passed away, every single person. We had, like, a meal train. We got to know everyone. And it was like a big family. So, when we had trick-or-treaters, we all just, the whole neighborhood was, like, a, into it. So, I do miss that about having a, a neighborhood where you know everybody. Patricia wants to know, do you have a specific pattern you use for placing flowers? Uh, Patricia, it just depends on what I'm designing. So everything's a little bit different, whether it's an arrangement, a cemetery cone, a saddle, or a wreath. So I do have specific placements for specific designs. And actually in my design group, guys, um, right now I'm giving four videos a week, one tutorial per month, live Q&As. I talk all about insertion points and where you place your flowers and the importance of putting them the proper direction so therefore you get the great outcome that you're looking for so if you're interested in learning more about that guys um, you can go to my website dylan d-y-l-e-n palmerdesigns.com and join my group i'd love to show you another patricia I sit in a coffin dressed as a skeleton oh no. okay now that's a little too much okay patricia no i would be scared to death i told y'all before about my experience with the haunted house have i not so i can't be doing coffin that's too much dina i can tell she's already into that no Guys, if you're having trouble hearing, go out and come back in and see if that'll help. All right, so I've got my cone pretty much done. So I have a few spare flowers left. So if you do, save these because you could even put these in another cone, in a wreath, or if you have a cemetery saddle to blend the two, you could put these as well. So I'm going to put these over here so that I'm in trouble uh, in my, <laughs> in my um, storage container. And get all this together really quick. We're going to add some greenery now to really help fill this in and accent this. 
Okay. Let's start with our leather leaf. Leather leaf is like a staple when you do cemetery work. And uh, it's just perfect. It kind of fans out. I always say that. And so we're going to actually take a few pieces and make a skirt that goes around the bottom of this. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves on here. Cut off two so you have a total of five. This is the perfect size piece to go around the bottom. I'm going to kind of give these a little bit of a bend. And now I'm going to come down here and work this all around the base. It's going to give me some more fullness um, all around the bottom of my flowers. going to take about seven, eight pieces. just depends on the size of the cup. Also, one tip I wanted to give y'all is, of course, the longer your stems are, the larger your arrangement's going to be. So if you have a tombstone or a cemetery plot that's extra large and you need the cemetery cone to be larger, just don't cut your stems as short and uh, it'll be easier for you to give yourself some height. Okay, look how pretty that is, y'all. So now we're going to add in our next greenery. This is going to be this cute little fern bush, and this can be found on the website too. I believe it's 50% off, and we're going to add this all the way throughout. And you already have one layer of greenery because we use those bushes that have the greenery in them. Let me show you all this. So this is so fun and easy. Look at that. That's going to give you some height that's going to really transform this. Uh-huh. Okay, and we're just going to do that all the way around until you get it to the fullness that you guys want. So I'm going to mix and match all the way down. So is anyone watching? Does anybody have a birthday, June 13th? Y'all leave a comment. Somebody said their birthday was after yours, okay. the day after. I have a friend here in town. Her name is Pam. Her birthday, we have the same birthday. And my birthday is the same as Mary Kate and Ashley. Remember them? Uh, it's been forever, but yes, I, we have the same birthday also. Okay, so I'm just filling in, guys, with this greenery. I'm rotating it around. You want it to be as even as possible. I'm probably going to use two of these bushes total. Then on the dogs, by the way, guys, the dogs are doing really well. Dolly is just, honey, she has made herself at home. Let me tell you what she's done. I don't know who's exactly doing this, but the other night I was sitting on the couch, and uh, she started chewing on something. Honey, you know she's got some beautiful white little puppy teeth and a uh, sharper tail. So she was chewing on something, and I thought, what in the world? And so it was a rock. Like, we have a fire pit out back, and it was uh, it looked like lava rocks because they're in the top of the fire pit. And I thought, how in the heck did she get a, a lava rock in here? Maybe the cat, you know, brought it in. So, I kept walking through the living room barefoot and stepping on freaking rocks, and it hurts. And so, it's like almost as bad as Legos, for those of you who have kids. Anyway, so I was like, where is she getting these rocks? And they weren't as big as the lava rocks, so I thought maybe she broke it up with her teeth. But I'm thinking, God, she'll break her tooth out. That's going to be $150 in the vet's office to get that fixed. So, yesterday I was walking through. I saw some rocks, and I picked one up. And then I saw another one, and I saw another one. And I looked up. And it was the rocks that go in the fireplace. We have gas logs, and there's some rocks at the bottom. So I'm thinking she's never got on the fireplace, and she's only out when we're home. I'm thinking the cat has been up there messing with the rocks, and he knocks them out, and then she sits down there and chews them. So I'm going to keep my eye on Salem, little jerk. Um, because if I step on one of those again, it's not going to be good for anybody in the house, okay? Because those things hurt. But I think Legos are worse. <laughs> Okay, Those we're gonna... little cotton ball things. Do what? The cottonwood trees. Oh, yeah. You ever step on a cotton ball? That hurts too. Okay, I'm going to continue now around the sides, guys, to give myself just a little bit more even uh, distribution around the whole thing. Wesley says her dog brought frogs and part of a deer leg in her house. Did you say frogs? Mm-hmm. No. Mm -mm. I have three on the dog. Mm -hmm. I can't. Y'all, I'm terrified of frogs. <laughs> terrified of everything. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, <laughs> we went to my aunt's house. This is so two weeks ago when I told y'all about the sangria blowing up. And she had like this big yard on the side of the apartment where she lives and all the neighbors come out. And so they ended up stringing those big Edison bulbs around so you can see. They had a projector going with the USC flag on there. Not that I cared about that. 
And uh, she put some blankets down on the ground, and they're quilts. And one of them was like a cream color. It was so nice outside that I was probably like 60 degrees. Wind was blowing. Fight was fighting. I mean, I was ready. I was sitting there sipping my vodka. I mean, everything was good. All of a sudden, I got swarmed by June bugs. I mean, I had flew out of there. I ran across the yard. And so I would come back down, and I would swarm. And I think they're attracted to the blankets. It's like they were swarming around the blankets because we were sitting on the edge of it. Uh-uh. I told her, I said, forget. It's nice to meet y'all. I'm going home. Okay, I can't do the June bugs. It's too early. It's like 8 o'clock at night. So, she got rid of the blankets, and they went away. Y'all ever heard of that? It's like they were attracted to the color of the blanket or something. But those things will clamp on you. It gets even better. So then, honey, it's time for my refill. The gene bugs had been gone for a while, so I came inside. My aunt was coming with me. I mixed them a drink up, and she said, oh, my God. She said, there's a gene bug. It was on my shirt, clamped on my shirt. It had been there the whole time. Of course, it scared me. I almost went through her screen door, and it uh, scared me to death. Pulled the gene bug off. Finally, it got lost in the house. So I had to take me to tram it all that night because my back was killing because I had done all the acrobatics in the house trying to get rid of that June bug. But it was tragic. So that's how our movie night ended up. I forgot to tell you about that. But have you all ever heard about them uh, being attracted to a blanket or something? And I did make her turn the lights off too because I do know that they do like lights. But no ma'am, not for me. I've heard mosquitoes are attracted to the color blue. Really? Oh, I don't like mosquitoes either. I don't either. And mosquitoes don't bother you at the moment because you don't really know that they're biting you until the next day when you need a whole gallon of cortisone. But uh, I'll wear it off and stuff, but this just stinks, doesn't it? I hate it. Okay, guys, well, I think we are finished. And by the way, this base is not staying on there. This is in a, a cemetery cone, so it's going to go at the cemetery at your loved one's um, stone. And uh, you could replicate this into a saddle using the same flowers. Don't forget, item of the week was the roses. They're 50% off. The screener is 50% off, the leather lease is 50% off, the cone is not, but it's really inexpensive. And I thought that, I think this is just a great way that you can uh, show your love to someone at the cemetery. And you can do this, guys, and substitute the color. So whether it's for fall, spring, summer, Christmas, you can do the same technique and apply that to the season that you are designing for. Um, but if you guys have any questions, whether you're watching the replay later or now, make sure you leave those down below. You're just as important. Someone from the Ellis team will go back and respond to you. Rebecca posts a shopping list as soon as we're done usually, so therefore you can just go in there, click the link, it's going to take you directly to the product that you're looking for. But right now it's kind of like a great transition period at Ellis, so they've got getting ready for fall and Christmas items to come in, they've got lots of things heavily discounted on the website. So it's a great time to get on there, ellishomelgarden.com, check out the products that they have. And uh, they have a new website coming tomorrow new layout. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I've actually been on it. It's easy to navigate and uh, there's some other things I don't know if I should tell y'all so I'm going to wait because I don't want to yell at but I think some shipping changes as far as where we can ship. A lot of questions y'all been asking. So we'll tell you more about that next week after we have this next week to kind of go through everything but we're excited about that change here on the Ellis website. So thank you guys for watching, hanging out with us. We always have a wonderful time. Um, we will see you guys <coughs> next week 10 a.m. CST here at Ellis Home and Garden, and uh, hopefully we'll be making fall soon. You could put flags in that too, correct? Yeah. Oh my God. I, I, every time I do cemetery in my group here, they always say something about flags, and I think about it, but then I forget before I do it. Yes, you can take those small flags, stick them in there, and like I said, y'all, you can take a ribbon. This is just a, a red. You can do a pattern, but you could put a small bow at the bottom of this and have the tails kind of cascading down the vase, and that'd be pretty too. So both of those things would definitely work. And I would just stick the um, flag directly into that foam and glue it so therefore when the wind blows it doesn't fall out. Use two of each or one, about one and a half? Yeah, I mean, I, I've used two, I cut up <coughs> two bushes of each. So two red, two white, two blue, and I used about, it just depends. I think I used a little bit more of one color. Um, but then I used two of the fern and two of the leather leaf all together. All right. You guys have a wonderful week. I will see you next time here at Ellis Summer Garden next week at 10 o'clock a.m. Me and Dina. And we will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Bye.